hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, the subject of neural networks and uh, in this video we are going to discuss about another important learning rule which is the Boltzmann learning so as we all know the basic objective of a neural network is to expose itself to various kinds of new data and uh, in the learning phase and then forming various kinds of categories patterns clusters of that data and applying the results uh, the knowledge the experience that it has gained from the training phase and apply it to solve real life situation the problems so this is the whole process the whole mechanism of learning so the 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 change that can happen to the neural network because of learning it can happen in two ways first is the change in the weights the parameter based learning updation in the weights or it can happen in the change in the overall structure of the neural network and that is what the whole learning thing is all about and that what we have studied in all these learning rules and Boltzmann learning which is a stochastic learning algorithm uh, named after Ludwig Boltzmann the neural network which is based on Boltzmann learning it is called as Boltzmann machine and what this whole Boltzmann machine is that it consists of a neural network with the input layer of neurons to which the input signals are given it has the output neurons the whole layer which has which provides the final output and in addition to that it has it can have multiple hidden or intermediate level of neurons okay an interesting thing about Boltzmann neural network or the Boltzmann machine is that all the neurons that are involved in this Boltzmann based neural network they can have two possible states on state which is denoted by plus one and off state denoted by minus one so the whole thing starts by picking up any neural okay any neuron at random and flipping its state suppose it is uh, we pick let's say neuron x1 okay we pick neuron x1 then its state is let's say plus one so we change it to minus one then depending on whatever uh, weights it has associated with that neuron and it is connected to all other neurons so all these uh, connections synaptic connections they are weighted links they have weights associated with it here I have not mentioned the arrowheads but they have all have weights associated with it so depending on this flip up state the net inputs to all these hidden neurons because of this concerned neuron which has undergone undergone a change or a flip of state the net input will change and because of a change in the net input to all the neurons connected to that particular neuron the input to the output neurons will also change and as a result the output will change and this process continues till the you know the error it becomes zero okay till the error becomes zero because there is a feedback uh, desired output value which is there and it continues till the error it becomes zero okay so so far we what we have understood is that we pick a particular neuron at random and we flip its state depending on that all the other neuron values the input values and the output values of each and every neuron will change because of the synaptic connections the weights associated with it and as a result the output values will changed now the energy function there is an energy function associated with the Boltzmann machine which is related to the weights associated in between two neurons and its 
presynaptic and postsynaptic signal okay because they are connected by a synaptic connection so let us say the state of a neuron xj is it is denoted by xj the state it can be plus one or minus one and the state of neuron xk it is uh, the neuron k is xk which can be plus one or minus one so the energy function associated with this Boltzmann machine concerning two neurons which are connected by a synaptic weight wkj it is given by minus one by two summation for that whole j for a particular layer of neuron and for a particular uh, it can be the input layer or the output layer it is wkj xk xj the whole summation for that whole particular layer as it, it has two layers involved between the synaptic connections so it can either be the input layer neurons or hidden layer neurons or the hidden layer neurons and the output layer neurons it can be between any two layers here i have just picked two neurons so that i can make you understand so for that whole layer the summation of weights and the presynaptic and postsynaptic signals which is the basically the state of the two neurons the state of the two ne neurons the or that are involved in the two layers and that determines the energy function of the Boltzmann machine okay so here I repeat if we pick any two layers of neurons suppose the input layer neurons and the hidden layer neurons it will happen for that whole layer the summation of weights and the state of the neurons involved in the input layer and the hidden layer suppose we pick the hidden layer and the output layer this will happen for all the states of the neurons involved in the hidden layer and the output layer and the synaptic weights so the energy function is concerned for two layers of neurons in a Boltzmann machine and there is also a probability of state of change of a neuron at any given point of time the probability that a neuron will undergo a flipping a change of state from plus one to minus one and minus one to plus one it is given by one by one plus the exponent uh, of exponent function of minus delta k by delta e k by t okay where delta e is the energy function the change in energy associated with that particular neuron okay so here for the kth neuron xk the probability of state change is given by p is equal to 1 by 1 plus exponent of minus delta ek by t now here t is not practical temperature but it is a concept associated with neural network which is called as pseudo temperature so the operating conditions the neurons in a Boltzmann machine they generally operate in two modes first is the clamped condition in which all the neurons they are in fixed state okay it can happen with any particular layer generally the hidden layers of neurons and there is another condition which is the free running condition in which the neurons operate freely and can take any state in clamped condition a neurons in one layer can have only one state either plus one or minus one that is the clamped condition they are fixed they are clamped to that state okay but in free running condition they can take any state any random state uh, it can be plus one it can be minus one okay they are free to do so they can oscillate in between two depending on the chain the flipping of state between any two neurons so these are the two conditions in which the Boltzmann machine can operate okay clamped condition and free running condition clamped condition fixed state free running condition both the states plus one and minus one it can take any neuron can take so these are some of the basic concepts related to Boltzmann learning okay here we discussed about uh, the basic operating mechanism of Boltzmann learning the energy function associated with it and the probability of state change the flipping of state so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much